Hi, this is Bruce Kulick, and you're watching ESP TV. This is this uh, this is the second album, you know, uh, well, technically the third album that I did with Anthrax, um, and yeah, uh, I, I produced it and recorded it, and, and as well as played guitar on it. And it's you know it it's definitely something I've gotten used to, you know, over the years, like playing those 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 two sides, you know, because it's a totally different gig, you know, producing and, and recording uh, as opposed to playing, you know, it's, it's just a different mindset, it's a different. It's a different hat, so to speak. <laughs> and uh, yeah, it's, we worked really hard on this album, and we're, we're super excited about it and very proud of it. And you know, the band definitely went through a lot of ups and downs and uh, dramatic, dramatic stuff. And, and we stuck it out. And the end result is, is a really powerful, heartfelt record. You know, and, and it's something I'm really proud of as a producer, as a player. Um, and I know the rest of the guys feel the same way, you know, a lot of blood, sweat and tears went into it. With Anthrax, the touring schedule right now is so hectic that we're just in that mode right now. You know, I don't think anyone's. It's too. It's just too soon to be to be thinking about new stuff. You know, uh, you know, we're just uh, trying to catch up on some, on some sleep when we can at this point. <laughs> yeah, we're we're flying all over the world constantly lately. I fly back to New York for a couple of days, and then we all go to South America for some really crazy shows. You know, I think the first one down there is in Mexico City. So, yeah. South America is always amazing, you know, especially for, for heavy heavy music and um, for anthrax. You know, it's, just, it's just the shows are just over the top. The kids down there are so passionate and so excited every time we come by. Damn Things is a is a really interesting project. It's uh, basically it's uh, Scott Ian, Joe Troman, uh, Andy Hurley, Joe Joe and Andy are from the band Fall Out Boy, and uh, Keith Buckley on vocals from Every Time I Die. And uh, we we just got together as friends and you know we wrote a really fun, cool rock and roll record. You know that's. The, that's that's what we set out to do, and I think we achieved that, and, and it was a blast. You know, we did we did a whole album cycle. You know, the, the album came out on Island. It's called Ironoclast, and uh, we had some killer tours. We tours we toured with bands like Volbeat and Buck Cherry, and did all the big festivals overseas and stuff. And it was it was a blast. You know, everyone in that band is also in other bands that are that are really busy and, and you know successful and doing doing big stuff. So. Um, Scheduling is definitely a nightmare in that kind of situation, in that kind of that kind of band. So, uh, right now, you know, it's definitely Anthrax one one thousand percent. You know, we just, you know, Scott and I are just focusing on that right now, and, and it's uh, it's been killer. But you know, hopefully the stars will align, and, and you know, we'll be able to do another damn things record and go out there and make some more noise. It'll be fun. what you want to do as a player you know you need to set your goals and, and um, you know a lot of guys get really caught up on all the crazy technique and they, they sit in their room for you know 
24 hours a day and just go through scales and metronome and all that stuff. And not, not to say that there's anything wrong with that at all, because there is definitely a place for that kind of stuff. But it just depends on what you want to achieve as, as, a, as a guitar player and as a, as a musician, you know? Um, for me personally, I always considered myself more of a musician than anything else, like an overall musician, you know what I mean? I play drums, I play bass, I play keys, I could play, you know, I could pretty much make any, anything I think sound good. I never tried to trumpet though, but, <laughs> um, yeah, it's just kind of like, I feel like if, if you want to be a good musician, you want to be a good guitar player, for example, you know what, study the drums a little bit. You know, like jam with a drummer. Like that's the best way to really understand how how music like you know clicks together and, and how instru instruments kind of wrap around each other. You know what I mean? You want to be a great drummer? You know what? Look at the bass player. Like study the bass a little bit. You know, see what he's doing. It's like that kind of stuff. And I, I always thought like that. You know, it was never like let me you know jerk off in my room playing playing scales every day and it's like yeah I mean there is a place for that um, but I find you know a lot of guys get lost in, in the stuff and and the musicality kind of becomes secondary to, to the technique you know and it's one one of my goals uh, is, is to always make my my playing musical and, and memorable but still exciting at the same time you know I think that's that's the key and it's like if I can listen back to it and kind of, kind of be excited about it, you know, I, I kind of achieved what what I wanted to achieve, and I at that point I could just only hope that the fans dig it, you know, that's the best I can do.